Hello, my name is Anne and I'm the Careers Advisor for the College of Arts. So today we're going to spend a couple of minutes thinking about what job can I do with my degree in? Because one of the key things for people in the College of Arts is that they're doing non-vocational subjects. So the first question is always, what can I do with my degree in? And then the second way that you can think about it is what would suit me, my strengths and my personality. So I'm going to do the two things, look at both of them. But first of all, let's kick off with what job can I do with my degree in? Okay, so the website that I want to direct you to is called prospects.ac.uk and on prospects.ac.uk you'll find loads of really good information but we're going to focus in on this very particular element today. So when you go on to the website, I'm going to take you there in a wee second, but when you go on this is the process I want you to go through. So we're going to click through careers advice, what can I do with my degree and then there's a broad, there's loads of different subject areas that you can go through. And I want you to look for the one that's closest to your subject of study. Now, Scottish literature may not be there, but go for the one that's obviously closest to the one that you're looking for. So let's go through to Prospects website. And as I've said, when you're on here, tons of information. So here we are. This is what we're going to be looking at. So Prospects website. So what I want you to do is... We'll just go to this wee page first. Right, so when you go in, I want you to go careers advice. What can I do with my degree? Takes you to this page here. What can I do with my degree in? So let's say for talk's sake, what can I do with my degree in classics? Nice, broad, non-vocational discipline. Brings up a list of things that people do. Now, this is just a list. It's a list, it's a starting point, it's a list. This is what some people who do this subject area go off and do. What I want you to do is start at the top of the list and work your way down. Because one of the things, that the, one of the biggest barriers to people in arts moving forward is that you just don't know what job's right there. So what this process helps you to do, it helps you to get your head around what we call the labour market. So this is your labour market information. So start at the top of the list. So let's say for talks like archivist. What's an archivist? What is one of those? So you want to read the job description, um, think about it and think, can I visualise myself doing that? Yes or no? If it's yes, put it in the yes list. If it's no, put it in a no list. If you cannot see yourself doing it, it's no. If you think, yeah, I would be interested in finding out more, it's yes. Anything that ends up on your yes list, I want you to go here. See this little link here, related jobs. Because what that allows you to do, it allows you to take one idea and broaden it out into lots of different things. So what you can do is you can start off with, well I'm doing classics, and people do classics can go into archives, and I'm really liking the sound of archives, but I'm interested to know what else sits within that job family. So again, you start at the top of the list, and you work your way down, you click through, you read the job description, and you yes or no it, depending on whether you think you would like to do that job or not. So this is only the starting point. As you'll see, there's lots of other things on there, Park those for now. Don't look at those other things for now. What we're doing here, which is really useful for you in first and second year, is getting a feel for what would suit me. And that's your starting point. So let's just go back and we will recap over what we've been saying. So what job can I do with my degree in? So we've looked at the website and we have some ideas of what you could do. So as I've said, you click through, you read the description, visualise yourself doing the job, yes, no problem. Start to decide. I, the things that you like the sound of, you can visualise yourself doing. And it is important to note here that even though there may be elements that aren't quite right for you, still put them in there because remember, you're going to look at the job family after it. Absolutely categorically, not for me. That's hideous. You could give me any amount of money to do it. That goes in your note. As I've said, that then brings you into your job families. So you want to focus on that yes list. You want to uh, start at the top, go on the job description, look at the related jobs, and you're going through that sifting process all the time of visualising, can I see myself doing that, can I not? And what you're doing here is you're really refining that yes list. Ta-da! There you have it. A tight little list of things that you can visualise yourself doing. These may be goers for you, they may not, because you're going to obviously go to the next stage of thinking, which is 
Is it going to meet my requirements for money? Is it going to meet my requirements geographically for where I want to live? Lots of different other things that you need to take into consideration, but it's a really nice starting point. Now, there's another way you can come at it, and that is thinking about what job would suit someone with my personality. And that's what I'm going to do in the next little video. So for today, thank you and goodbye.